Opening day 2020, right? It didn't happen in April. It was an absolute ghost town in San Francisco compared to the fanfare that we have seen in years past out at the ballpark. But now as coronavirus restrictions are starting to loosen up here, the Giants are indeed getting ready to welcome fans back to the yard right there in China Basin. Giant CEO Larry Bear joins us live on this very special day in baseball. And and Larry, thanks for taking the time. I mean, yes, last year it was a ghost town out at the ballpark in April. Just describe your emotions, uh, what you're feeling right now one year later. Hey, good morning, Mike. Uh, we're really excited to get going a week from Friday. Uh, we love the fact it's a day game, right? That's a tradition for over 60 years in San Francisco that we play opening day during the day, one o'clock. Uh, it'll be hopefully a day like today, sun, sunshine. And, you know, there's going to be some protocols, but the bottom line is I think people are so anxious to, to get out and get back to a, a slice of normalcy. And what could be more normal or more fitting in our lives than uh, opening day, a hot dog, a, a beverage, and uh, yeah. sunshine, and, and uh, the Giants. I'm fired up for it. Look, you guys set the rules are in coordinates with the city. 22% capacity is what you're going to do uh, moving forward for those home games at this point. Now, it may not be easy to get in, but if you do, my goodness, Larry, I'm going to feel pretty safe here because you're going with uh, two big rules here. You either have to be double vaccinated to get in, or you're going to have to show that you've tested negative for COVID-19. Yeah, we will be we'll have the safest uh, spot on planet Earth. I think, Mike, uh, we're going to have a really good we've, we've worked hard with the health officials to come up with a plan. And we're asking the folks be prepared to show uh, that either a, a proof of a, a vaccination. Right. So you have a card or you can have a take a picture of it and and, and show that uh, if asked. And then also um, or the alternative would be a, a proof of a negative test within 72 hours. And we have in our links, you know, places to go to get a, a free test. So we just ask for that because uh, just to make sure everybody's safe, it's going to be uh, that's going to be in, in force, at least in the first the first part of the of the uh, schedule, the home stand. So I, think the, uh, I think the Yankees, Larry, are doing something similar, but not a lot of yeah. ball clubs are doing this. Was there a lot of debate no. within the organization on whether or not you should move forward with this? Well, again, we, we really believe, if you look, Mike, at San Francisco, the numbers have been very good throughout the, this, this whole pandemic. And, um, you know, if we take an extra step and when you know you're coming to a game, you know you're you know, you're going to be safe and you feel good. And we have the pod seating and obviously we're asking for the mask wearing, et cetera. Um, it's just going to be a safe environment. You're outside. I mean, we think that this is something where you can come early even. And we're asking people on opening day a week sure. from tomorrow, come early, um, be prepared if asked to show those those two pieces of uh, one of those two pieces of uh, verification. And um, and then there's just kind of, a, you know, really reduce the, any risk of any issues. Yeah. You know, it's nice to see the fans back at the park. And I want to ask you about ticket prices here because there, you can only have about 9,000 fans at this point. Do you have any concern that, you know, outside of season ticket holders that your everyday Joe and their families, will just, they're going to get priced out and then they won't be able to afford to go to a game because that secondary market, they may be jacking those prices up? Yeah, here's what we're doing. I mean, you have to remember, OK, opening day is kind of an animal unto itself. Sure. So ticket prices on secondary market, et cetera, on opening day may go sky high. And we, you know, in opening day, my hunch it will be sold out pretty early. Um, and we're going through the season ticket holders. But, you know, we're, we're, the good news is we have 81 games this year. So I would just encourage people, you know, to look in the first, we're only selling the games in April right now. But when we go on public sale for the rest of the games in April after opening day, take find a game that, you know, will be priced, uh, you know, more to your budget if, if you're on a budget um, in terms of tickets. And I think that it, it, that's, it may not be the Sunday afternoon Dodger game, but maybe it's the, you know, Tuesday night game against somebody. And I think you'll have prices that'll be not that different than to in the ballpark than going to a movie there'll be, there'll be prices tickets you know for 20 30 dollars uh in in that range of if, if you pick your game let me ask you about a couple players here buster posey um he's going to be in the squad for the 10th time for a for a season opener uh he's a legend for the black and orange uh brandon crawford uh he's an absolute legend himself you know mr grand slam as i call him and then and brandon belt a lot of talk here larry the point is that this could be the last season for these three giants they have seven rings combined uh, they've done a lot for this organization over the last decade plus um do you foresee these guys taking off you know at the end of the year and and how would you put their 
careers in perspective here? Well, obviously, that's going to be a decision that we will have to be made down the line. You know, as we go through the year, it's uh, you think about the those three uh, opening day. I think this is the for for them. It's the tenth opening day for Craw and and Belt uh, Brandon Belt at Brandon's, and I think the twelfth for Buster uh, consecutive. And you think about that in sports, you don't get those kinds of runs. And it's just been, it's been so fantastic. And I'm just grateful fans will be able to watch them this year. And, you know, beyond this year, I mean, I think everybody's open. We're just going to have, that's going to be a baseball decision. We're going to have to make as we go through the season and, uh, and evaluate. And, and, you know, obviously they're going to have uh, something to say about where, what they want to do going forward too. So that's a, that's a, a coming attraction, but, uh, but, the real focus, I think, is getting off to a great start, and we need the three of them to get off to a great start, and uh, it's going to be great seeing them in the lineup tonight. Hey, one more for the, uh, for the fans here. Like, for those who had tickets last year, maybe, and, and not just, you know, single-game tickets, or, did they get refunded? Is there a possibility if they haven't, can they still get their money back? Yeah, so, so, here, so here's the way it works, and about 70% or so of our fans have done this. Anybody that had tickets for last year for games that weren't played, whether it's a season ticket, a group sales ticket, or an individual ticket, you can just roll it over into this year. So if you hit the okay. button that said, I'll roll over, and you got 5% interest, um, that's good to be used this year. Uh, they were eligible for refunds and still are eligible for refunds, but as I say about – Two out of every three are just saying, hey, apply it to my 2021, uh, you know, or future ticket purchases. It could be later this season. It could even, we, we would even allow it to roll into 2022. Got so it. we're totally flexible if you want to keep the money on account uh, with us. If not, we, we have done refunds. But again, most people are just saying, hey, um, thanks. It's like, it's like having a credit at a department store, right? You just, uh, right. you have that, you have that uh, uh, bank and then you just uh, roll it. You know, roll with it when you find a game you want to go to. Great. I love it. You know what I don't love? I don't like opening it up against the Mariners. I, I honestly would rather have an NL West team. I don't like this interleague thing right off the bat. Do you, it's, Larry? It's that tradition. It's that tradition, Mike. Of you, you know, you're, you're opening it within your own division usually, or at least within your own league. And, uh, and, and you probably, if that's your bent, you probably don't like the fact that there's a DH in tonight's that's game. That's right. I could go on and on. I could go on and on about that. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I'm glad baseball's back, and I'm sure I'll be happy come 7-10 tonight. Hey, Larry, thanks for taking the time. Have a great season. Thanks, Mike. Look forward to seeing you at the ballpark All this right, year. I'll be there for sure with the family.